What they did, you see, they changed the grade there. They uh, widened the street. I'm sure somebody told them that that was an improvement. But now, you see, when it rains and when there is fog and with this new angle and they've got these new, these, uh, these, uh, these sodium lamps, it's blinding. That corner right there, it is just blinding. Well, they're going to have to work that out. Yeah, and it's not just tonight. I mean, I've been saying this for years. I mean, how many times have we talked about that corner? Dell. Mr. Greer, we don't have a lot of time here. Oh, so the circumstances, the, the road conditions, none of this holds any interest for you? What interests me is finding the strongest possible criminal attorney that can be here in the next 15 minutes. Well, that sounds ominous. We have some good relationships up here in Westchester. So what are you? What are you? You're not a lawyer? Not the kind you need. What kind is that? A trial lawyer. Somebody who can see this all the way through. That's not what I do. Okay. I think we're going to have to pull Walter back in on this. I want to get Walter back on the phone. I want to get him back into the mix. Because uh, I'll be frank with you. I don't like the way this is going. Sir, we don't have time for Walter. Your options here are going to get smaller very quickly. What options? I'm not hearing any options. I'm suggesting that you go local. And I'm telling you that there's some people up here that I like for this. Oh, great. That's it? That's what you got for me? Hey, you believe this? I've been a client at Kennerbach for 12 years. Do you think that I pay that retainer every month so I can give a place at the back of the line? Mr. Greer, you left the scene of an accident on a slow weeknight six miles from the state police barracks. Believe me, if there's a line, you're right up front. I can get a lawyer anytime I want to. I don't need you for that. We're not sitting here for 45 minutes waiting for a goddamn referral. I don't know what Walter promised you, but I can a tell A miracle you this. worker. That's Walter on the phone 20 minutes ago. Direct quote, okay? Hang tight. I'm sending you a miracle worker. Oh, he misspoke. About what? About the fact that you're the firmest fixer? Or that you're any good at it? Elliot. The guy was running in the street! You take that. You had the fog. You had the, 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 the lamps. You had the, the, the angle. What the fuck is he doing running in the middle of the street at midnight, huh? You answer me that. You What if someone has stolen the car? Huh? Happens all the time. Cops like hit and runs. They work them hard, they clear them fast. Right now there's a BCI unit pulling paint chips off a guardrail. Tomorrow they're going to be looking for the owner of a custom-painted, hand-rubbed Jaguar XJ-12. And the guy you hit? If you got to look at the plates? It won't even take that long. There's no play here. There's no angle, there's no champagne room. I'm not a miracle worker, I'm a janitor. The math on this is simple. The smaller the mess, the easier it is for me to clean up. That's the police, isn't it? No. They don't call. Look, normally a congressional delegation would give them a courtesy briefing on the situation, but as you can see, it's getting pretty late. We don't have a whole lot of time anyway, so... We'll make the time. Huh? Fuck your time, Harry. I'm on defense appropriations. I'm catching a plane back to Washington in just a few minutes now. I need a full classified briefing right now. 120,000 Soviet troops and all? 120,000? 40th Army is garrisoned in the cities and in the airports. The 7th and 8th Infantry Divisions are in Kabul. The 18th in mazar -e sharif The 4th Armored. Anything inside? I'm sorry? They control on anything inside. Soviet advisors have appropriated the Afghan Intel Service and the ministries. Which ministries? All of them. Anyway, the 4th Armored covers Bagram Air Base. 7th Armored well, is... Why are they shooting down the helicopters? I'm sorry? The helicopters, Harold? Why aren't we giving them something to shoot down the helicopters? The uh, helicopters are a problem. You think? Congressman... They're shooting at Soviet gunships with in-field rifles. That's basically what David Crockett used. The Soviet hind gunship is especially armor-plated to resist bullets. Yeah, I know. I know. So... You tell me what you need to shoot him now. What do you mean? Tell me what you need. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, you tell me what you need, and I will go about getting it for you. 
Congressman, I appreciate your generosity, but a sudden influx of money and modern weaponry would draw attention. What? A sudden influx of money and modern it would, it would, it would, it would, it would draw attention? Yeah. Well, I don't even know what that means. This is the Cold War. Everybody knows about it. Should I continue with the briefing? Have you been to these refugee camps? Have you, have you heard these stories? Congressman, I am required to give you a briefing. Should I continue? No. Thank you. Uh, hey. Hey. Seen Paul? Uh, no. But, uh, I'm sure he'll come back. Paul always comes back. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, why don't you step into my office? Oh, I heard about the ski mom. News travels fast. Mm. Oh, this clip on? Yeah. Wow. So painful. No holes. I'm afraid of needles. Yeah, I got mine done after my divorce. At the mall. That's very brave. I wish people would stop smiling at me. Sorry. Hey, that's one wish. You got two more. Uh, what? Um, I wish that I didn't have to pee every two minutes. Mm -hmm. And, um, I wish I could have a drink. I can get you drunk with my hands. Come on. Give me your hands. Come on. Now close your eyes. What are you gonna do? Close them. Both of them. <laughs> Don't cheat. <laughs> now, visualize a Bloody Mary. Lime salt, celery. Mm-hmm. Frothy, Bloody Mary. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Are you flying yet? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I can't believe he sent you. I know, you. I know. It's a client meltdown. You know, Paul I mean, is the one they trust. These classes are ridiculous. It's I mean, not even... I mean, we've done them before, but even if we didn't, I mean, they're, they're just a way of keeping you busy so you think you're getting ready. So what, you're not ready? Is Paul seeing someone? I'm sorry, what? Is that why you're here? What are you talking about? <gasps> I found this in the uh, cat box. Well, did you talk to the cat? <sighs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. Did you talk to Paul? Something's wrong. Like last time. You mean physically? Yeah. It's just... It's just a feeling. Like when you know it's gonna rain and you... You're not sure when. Something. Last time. Wasn't your fault. Well, then whose fault was it? Sometimes things just happen. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.